Hey, check it out, everybody. It's Phil from New York Rocks, and we're rocking down here at Mexicali Live. Rocking with the band Silver Tongue. Ah, see? Ah. <laughs> no, not this Silver Tongue. This Silver Tongue right here. And we're rocking out here tonight, and I uh, got the band here. I got members of the band. I got Speed here. Speed, talk to me. Tell me a little bit about the band and introduce the guys. Go ahead. Oh, well, over here on bass guitar, you got Scoot. Scoot. Over here on, on drums, you got Dano. Mm -hmm. And over here is Zach. We call him ZZ, though. Okay. ZZ. All right. So you're rocking out here at Mexicali Live here in New Jersey. You know? Yes. Well, it's yes close to New time. York. Close to New York, time. right? You're rocking here. Yeah, okay. we're, 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 we want to come to New York, so can you hook us up? Yeah, you, you got to play in Manhattan, too, you know? You got to uh, we'll come out to Staten Island maybe one day, you know? I, yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, we'll play anywhere. Yeah. We'll you play in your backyard if you let us. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it's big enough. But tonight you're going to rock out here and the band. Let's talk a little bit about the band and how the band got started. Who wants to start off? Would you like to start off, Gad? Oh, well, let, let me do it. Speed starts, and then I'll I'll hand it over this way. Okay. okay well, at one point, um, the band was about to be dismembered and be done with, and um, I had some ad outs, uh, you know, in some of the local newspapers and stuff, and and Scoot answered the ad. Well, when he answered the ad, I was pretty much like that was done. I didn't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And he, I sent him some tracks just for the hell of it, and he listened to the tracks, and he was like, "Hold on, dude." Yeah. This is some really good stuff here. You don't need to throw this away. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right. So we we made an agreement and we put our put our heads together and we were like, right, let's just let's go find a guitar player. Let's go find a drummer. We did. We got it. And this is what it is now. Is this the original lineup, or you had a you had a different part of the lineup, and now you revamped the lineup and now you started all over Correct. again. Correct. Now you have an album, right? Yes. And you have this album, and the album is what? Devil's Devil. The details. Okay. Now talk about that now. This is the newest album, but yes. now you're going to be producing a new album, I heard. But let's talk about this first. Go ahead. Okay. Um, well, the, uh, first off, the, the, yeah. art, the artwork on the very front uh -huh. is, is done by our tattoo artist who, is, who, who sponsors us. Mm -hmm. His name is Tony DeVille from DeVille, Inc. in Baltimore, mm -hmm. Maryland. Um, and we want we wanted shameless promotion. And, and we wanted something different. We didn't want some kind of digital artwork that was done on a computer. We wanted someone to actually hand draw this. And this back is back in the day. That's how they used to do it. You know, everybody drew. There were right, no computers, right. right? Well, exactly. I mean, and he he did such a great job. So we were like, yeah, this is what we want to do. Cool. So, um, but but the 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 album itself, right. the songs in here, um. Who wrote the songs? Uh, we we did, we did the whole the whole band did okay. and um and actually we're I can't tell you what the little secret that we're working on right now but I will tell you soon uh -huh. I just can't tell you yet mm -hmm. um but the album is is uh, it's on iTunes right. you can get it on iTunes mm -hmm. and we just released it back in in early 2014 really is what it was. Talk about some of the songs that are on the album some of the tracks um, well, talk the, about them. Yeah. The first release was was coming alive. Right. And That's a good song. I, I actually, you know, you gave me the CD. They sent me the CD, and I would listen to it. I was like, wow, that the first song right off the bat, it's a hot song. Really, really caught oh, my attention. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it was a great thank song. You. Yeah, that was that. W w honestly, it wasn't even our choice. The right. producer that we were working on, we kind of had an idea of another song, and right. and he said, no, 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 no. I think you should put this out because this mm -hmm. is kind of driving, and this is kind of what you guys are about. Right. So you know, we agreed and we put it out there, and it, it's done very, very well, actually. Okay. It's done well. Let's hear, let's hear from this guy right here. Cause okay. I, I get the closest. It's hard to get around with the <laughs> mic. But go ahead. Let's talk about some of the songs that are on the album and how you came about them and put them together. Did you actually write together? Oh, yeah. And uh, what instrument actually do you play? Because uh, I don't know everybody. Bass player. Right. All right. So you're um, the bass, and I know you're the singer. And he plays uh, drums and... Uh, ZZ's guitar. Okay. Yep. Like rhythm. Like the rhythm. I, I think... Both together, right? The way to put this... Right. In a nutshell, is every song gets written in a different way. Right, right. Sometimes we're just jamming together, mm -hmm. and then somebody goes, "Whoa, Zach, what were you doing on guitar? Keep doing that," right, and right. then we'll start grooving around it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the songs are almost done at home by an individual, and they're brought in and polished up by the band. Right, right. The cool thing about the CD, I think, is the diversity of songs. There's cool, hard driving rock songs, good heavy stuff, How and many then are on the album? there's there 11 on that one. I think there's I think there's 11 on that CD. Yeah, but they're all different. They all have um, they all have their own flavor, which I, I think is makes makes for a good package right, right. instead of everything kind of sounding the same. These really don't. And uh, you all wrote them just you two together, or everybody yeah. contributed? Everybody contributed. Everybody contributed. All four of us right. is a part of that. 
for sure. Cool. Yep. Okay. Now tonight you're gonna play some of the songs. You're gonna play all of them. And I heard like you have some new material that you're working on. We could talk about yeah. that with a new producer right, new on the producer, second album. Yeah. You used the first producer on the first album. Right. First album rocks out. It's a great, great album. Mm -hmm. But now you're talk you're talking you're you're working with another right. producer, uh, David. David, uh, David right? am I allowed to say yeah, who it is? We are okay because nobody really knows. So you, I guess you get the first uh, yeah. exclusive on this. David Ivory is who it is. He's, he's a Grammy award-winning producer. Mm -hmm. um, he's pushing us really hard. Right. He's teaching us a lot of stuff. And uh, how's that it's, working out? Good. It's nice. stressful. Good. <laughs> it's yeah. It's it's yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the end result. I mean, what we're hearing what is, he, uh, is ridiculous. Um, it's near Philadelphia. It's right, the right. Burbs. One of the Burbs of Philly. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. you guys are from Baltimore, I heard, right? Baltimore. Yeah, that's what we're Maryland? centered out of. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. the songs that you're working on now, how many tracks have you worked with David on? David we're on? working one at a time with David, and this is our first one. Right. We've been we've been there a few times, and we're we're making a lot of headway. But um, there's there's an entire album that's okay. in bits and pieces, ready ready to be assembled basically Great. so it, it's cool. it's gonna happen it's like in this business you have to be very productive you know and you got put out new it. material and tour right you got to get out there and yeah. tour yep. talking about touring let's say let's talk about some of the artists that you've toured with and uh, let's say the ones that you're inspired to tour with I'll ask him that and you talk about some of the bands that you went on the road with go ahead talk okay. about that um, some of the actually I, I can give you a whole list right. of bands between Godsmack um, Disturbed Shinedown Stained Papa Roach Megadeth, you gotta say Megadeth. We played. Like you opened, you opened. Yeah, now we played with Megadeth for many years. You you were at festivals like you opened the Fest tour. We were on the Uproar tour. We were on the Mayhem tour. Just did Alter Bridge. We just did Volbeat. Hell yeah. Um, you know, I don't know if he said Chevelle. God, we could sit here all all day. We did Drown and Pool a long time ago. We did Drown and Pool. Favorite, probably our favorite. Like on a personal level, is probably Pop Evil. They haven't been mentioned yet. They're just cool guys, just to hang with. They're super guys. Great music, great guys. So how long have you been playing out live then? Uh, for a couple of years now? Um, I'm, for I mean, about you, six years. You just told me so many bands. I'm like, wow, you know. It's, 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 it's been bands. about six years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, been, we've been pushing cool. really hard. I mean, yeah. um, we, we do a lot of local regional stuff too, right. but you know, the big tours are the ones that we, we get really excited about. I mean, it's yeah. always nice to come home and, and you know yeah, see yeah, your yeah. friends and you get to hang out with them and, and play a show. Yeah. But those big tours are like, you know, they're they're pretty um they're pretty mind blowing. You know, when you you go out and you you end up playing in front of like, you know, uh, I don't know, twenty some thousand people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, it's, and the energy yeah. opposed to that of, it's just it, it's just insane. I gotta get yamped up, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, we, you know, we we looked at it like this: we can either live or die on this because, yeah, yeah. you know, these people didn't know who we were, yeah. so they were like, well, you know, who's Silvertone? Yeah, yeah. Well, that right there is gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna survive or are you not gonna survive? Right. And by the time we were done, the crowd was just insane. Uh -huh. So we were like, okay, well, I guess we can do pretty well out here then. And I heard there's a funny story about the name. <laughs> <laughs> we have to bring up the name, right? Okay. Well, we don't wanna get in trouble too much, but you know, we try to keep it like a little. Uh, okay, but I can't. Yeah. PG-13. Yeah. Version. Who wants to start with this? Well, speed. <laughs> speed. Yeah. speed. Well, I, okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you her uh, name though. Okay. <laughs> no, well, just well we 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 got Google now. We do research. <laughs> right. Right. Um, we we were rehearsing in my uncle's um, basement, yeah. and and we were trying to come up with a name for the band, right. and. Uh, we were throwing out all kind of crazy yeah. stuff, and and you know, guys being guys, yeah. my uncle had some pornos yeah. sitting on the side. That's all right, you know, it's so, rock and roll. You know what I mean? We could talk exactly, about that. Exactly. This, this is not a PG a show. Yeah. His uncle was just a perv. He wasn't a rocker, yeah. so I don't know what the. But anyway, so we um, so you know, I, I'm looking through them, and I come across this one, and it says. Did you catch that? I came across this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just make sure you caught that. <laughs> <laughs> I found this one that said yeah. Silver Tongue. Right. And jokingly, I turned around and went, I got the name of the band. And everybody's like, What? And I said, Silver Tongue. And I started well, cracking up. It was good. Well, I started cracking. <laughs> no, because. Come on, man. Well, 
<laughs> and he, and uh, uh, I'll be honest with you why we didn't. Right, yeah. Somebody needed to use the lawnmower. And <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it at that. You can catch it on the dot if you got it. But <laughs> oh, man. We'll, we'll, we'll have to look that up. But uh, check it out. You guys are going to rock here tonight. You're going to do some songs, talk about some of the music here tonight, and let everybody know where you're going to be playing next. And then uh, what's going on after that? We need to find out how they can get in touch with you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, get in touch with us and, and always uh, right. look at the schedule. Silvertongue.com. Uh, Silvertongue, T-U-N-G. We spell it differently just to mm -hmm. be weird. Right. Um, all one word. All the Facebook buttons and, and sure. everything you need right there. Tweet and er whatever you do. Um, yeah. Calendar. Um, tomorrow we're in Pennsylvania at a festival with who? Who is it? Um, an, uh, Blame Shift, Blame Shift Blame is, is headlining. Um, uh, uh, otherwise has been there. Like a storm is there. Um, it's, it's just it's a huge. It's like a last last day of the summer jam festival. So it's pretty cool. It's put on by a uh, 105.7 The X out of PA. All right. So what else? What else you got? October third. October third. We're playing in Hagerstown, Maryland. We're playing with a band called Crowbots, which. Have a couple of good songs out on the radio, and our friends at Super Bob are going to be there. What and place is that again? it's called Hard Times Cafe in Hagerstown. Mm -hmm. um, great place, good food. Okay, that's my yeah. shameless promotion there. <laughs> um, you know, and then we're kind of like all over the place. You know, up and down. Uh, you know, Maryland, PA, Virginia kind of area. Sorry, I didn't um, get the guy in the back. I was like, hey, hey, yo, hey, well, good, man. hey that's okay. That's, uh, I got these short little arms. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I have nothing important to say. I just wanted the microphone in front of me. <laughs> that's cool. Hey. I really, I feel like Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do with my hands right now. But, uh, you, got the, you got the look going on, man. I stand, I stand here and I look pretty, and, and that's what I do. I let these guys talk, and and we look pretty, and, and then very that's our job. Pretty. It yeah. is, it is. Yeah. But we excel at it, and we do a great job at it. Um, but uh, but you know, but definitely, I mean, uh, you know, uh, we we want everybody to go to the web page, silvertongue.com. It has all the links. You can uh, Facebook us. You can message us. We'll respond back. You know. Um, uh, we're all over the place, so we'll definitely be in your backyard at some time or another. Check out that site, uh, well, Silver Tongue. We're gonna have to Google that uh, video there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it's uh, I think it's a 1970s porn or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, well, the girl just ran by, so I think you're about ready to go on. She's it's getting, uh, she's it's getting close. It's in getting there. close. <laughs> They're getting crazy in there. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna rock out with Silver Tongue rocking on New York rocks. Who rocks better than us? No so body, baby. No so body. You, gotta, you gotta hang out in the city, yeah. you know. You get the, you know. I'm trying to no, oh, forget like about it. Nobody rocks like us because we rock the best. Peace out, everybody.